it's so good to see you guys again virtually uh, yeah. this time. And uh, and and what a what an important movie to come out right now. I mean, this could have come out two years ago and probably could come out a couple of years from now. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. but right now, there's a lot of people that are stuck at home, mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. you know they're they're having this problem very very close together. And so mm-hmm. it almost comes out at the perfect time, don't you think? True. Good. Yeah. yeah. I didn't think about that, but yeah. Yeah, totally. And we didn't. That's not predicted. I mean, we filmed it two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and, and this is uh, something that you kind of you must have read the book and thought I have to do this, right? This is something that people kind of kind of need to hear, need to see right now. It does seem like a subject that is so uh, pervasive and happens all over the world, and yet is very rarely talked about in a public space Still. like movies. Um, so it felt very special, and it felt like we kind of. Were part of something that did that did seem important while we were doing. Yeah, that. and it was. I will say it was really hard to make. Mm-hmm. I was really hard to get support, you know, to make this movie. As as hard as it as it is to get support when you're a new mother, <laughs> nearly impossible. And um, and I think I think it just. I'm really proud of the fact that we were able to make it and talk about something so heavy and so important. Um, in such a powerful way with Amy's perspective. Cause yeah, that book is like, it's, there's no judgment and, it, and it's, mm-hmm. it's so fluid and so accessible. The story that Julie is so accessible. Somebody else said, I feel like I was watching two friends and that was like mm. the biggest compliment because yeah. that's kind of the point. You want to feel like you Supposed know somebody or you want to know somebody when you're watching them on screen. Mm-hmm. And there's this whole, there's this mental illness that is, you know, causing just such a crater for these, these Rift. two characters and yeah, um, yeah I, I'm still surprised that we were able to make this movie and I really hope now that we're talking about it people will listen and hear it and come out with a perspective or at least some compassion for you know mm-hmm. women and, and the tagline for it is perfect one breath at a time that's kind of yeah. what we kind of need to tell ourselves any every, every day anyway right yeah mm-hmm. yeah whoever you are yeah, yeah. Is, is that something you kind of tell yourselves anywhere is there something that you tell yourself that kind of keeps you on the right path doing what you do one breath at a time I don't know I just try to feel like I've I I try I I read something like whatever you do today is enough and it makes me feel like okay there's like something that happens in my neck that relaxes a little bit Mm -hmm. you know it's not it's just a simple thought like you're you've done enough you're doing a good job (laughs) you're fine don't like don't be too hard on yourself. As long as you need to hear that, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it can mean a lot. So what do you tell yourself then? Uh, I don't Good know. Good hair. <laughs> I'm kidding. Sorry. That's all, I say. That's all I say to myself in the mirror. Yeah. Um, I try to. I had a mantra that was like, "It's a blessing." Yeah. No matter what it is, it just sort of like, oh, okay, it's a blessing. You know, like, um, try to use it, whatever it is, to 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 move forward. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, how lucky am I? It's like, how lucky mm-hmm. are we? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, when, when you make something that, that sort of speaks to people, you know, gives them, you know, li- lifts them up, even though it's a, it's a hard movie, I'm sure it's hard to do, it's hard to watch at some points, but, but, but isn't, isn't this kind of why you got into this, is to, to make art that makes an impact, right? Yes. Definitely. Yes. 100%. It's hard to find a movie that makes that much of, has that much much of a message for something that's so common and so stigmatized. It's uh, it's hard, and and I mean the benefits are like, um, and something that makes like a human face to what you might read about or like um, in a newspaper or statistic, um, you know that that humanizes something that might feel. Uh, I don't know, that, that's like often not talked about or yeah. often sort of uh, happens behind closed doors. I mean, that's why we watch movies. That's why we watch TV. We want to distract ourselves, and sometimes we just want to learn more. Sometimes we want to connect. That's why I love documentaries. I want to know what it's like to live in that guy's shoes for a minute because that, that's all about compassion. You know? Oh, I, no. Yeah, I love that. Well, thank you both so much for making such an impactful movie and uh, keep up the great work and we'll look forward to talking to you both uh, again In about person. your huge projects. Yeah. So.